What was your secret for winning Outer Banks? You face some serious competition. I'll tell you my secret. Um, total dedication and obsession with the idea of getting better at playing pinball to the point where you make it the main goal of your whole life. How about this uh, fake news? It's a big news story that there is fake news. Um, which I think it started as like it was the reason Hillary lost, and it's merged into like this huge problem. I kind of gave Joe Lemire a bunch of shit yesterday on Facebook. I was pretty harsh on him, but I posted some ironic status about fake news in general, just being like. Fake news is an attack on irony or something stupid like that. I said something I don't actually believe, but I thought was maybe funny to say on like a fifth, fifteenth irony level sort of thing. This makes no sense. Anyhow, he's like, yeah, the problem is that like people are dumb, and that's sort of what I've seen is like, oh, well, the problem with fake news is that uh, people are too dumb to know what real news is, or too dumb to do proper research or whatever. And I tore into him because I'm like, all right, great. So now what? Is it uh, is the solution here to just make people realize they're dumb and then that's how they get smarter? Like, well, what happens? It's like this kind of cynical lack of philosophy to pretend you have any sort of politics or philosophy or whatever. OBX champ, that's me. In the middle of a great rant about fake news. Buckle up, baby. And... I just lost my place because I got that little ego boost. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, fake news. All right. So, yeah, it's like, oh, well, it's just people are too dumb. I saw this freaking hubbing. I don't see a lot of news on Facebook, I'll be honest. I see a lot of pinball content and a lot of, like, meme pages and stuff, and that's sort of what I set up to be. I hide, aggressively hide stories. I don't like... I also really hide, like, viral videos and clickbait stuff and, like, all... All those videos, you, you've seen them on Facebook where they have like the text on the top and the bottom and the resolution sucks shit. I've hit all those pretty well. So I kind of have like a pretty good set of Facebook. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people got left out because I just didn't want to see their content anymore. I was only liking stuff I actually really wanted to see. I kind of try to keep it in my head to only like, or like really, if you see something you like, even if it's like really long form piece, make sure you go back and like it or else you're not going to see that stuff on your page again. Um, but yeah, Facebook over and over has just tweaked their news feed rel relentlessly. It's, at times, every so often it becomes like this most complained about feature because the way I was thinking about it was with the death of the newspaper, right, um, one advantage of the newspaper over internet articles, rant, real rant about fake news. Yes, it is a real rant about fake news. One thing that was good about the newspaper, even though I'm a little too young to like really have ever had a newspaper subscription, was that there was an editor in charge of story layout and where should this story go and like what you should see. So whatever the news editor deemed was the most important story of the day, that's what you got. Now. Newspapers have died, but they haven't. They've actually just been replaced with the website Facebook.com. For some people, it's Twitter. For some people, it's Google News. But for a lot of people, it's Facebook. Because instead of having, like, the top story of the day is right there in the feed, you might just have a story all your friends happen to be sharing that's not nearly the top story. This might have been formerly in, like, the lifestyle section. You'd have to look in the table of contents and go to D8 or something for it. But now this is the uh, piece that everyone's watching, looking at. And um, that's tough to deal with, I think, as someone who is a journalist, is that you just have no longer have any control of what you see unless it's viral. Uh, whose fault it is? I don't know. I don't know if it's Facebook's fault. I don't know if it's the paper's fault. They could have done something else. I don't know if it's news site's fault for not being, like, able to bring readers to their homepage, so I don't feel like a lot of people browse the homepage of the news to get their news. I feel like a lot of people are 
browsing it through links to stories because stories are doing much better being shared, look at BuzzFeed, than they are just organic reach or whatever. I'm in really not a lot of light right here. People use Facebook improperly. See, that's one thing I cannot say is true because there's no guideline on how to use Facebook. I actually think that's the greatest part of social media is that there's never any rules to how you can do it, right? But people think there's rules and I think rules serve as like a good beginner guide on how to use something, but there's no reason why can't I use LinkedIn to, um, for like comedy purposes, why can't I use uh, Facebook for uh, dating, why can't I use Twitter for, I don't even know, for, uh, I don't have, I don't have a metaphor, I'm out of metaphors for that one. I'm actually going to think about this game too. And it's like, that's why I have fun with social media. I like to make sure it was always fun for me. And that's why a lot of sites I just can't use. Like LinkedIn I can't use because I haven't really found a way to make it fun or entertaining for me. I don't see the point of, I already have a job. Why the heck am I on LinkedIn and maybe getting another job? It's like, no, if I need another job, I'll start applying. And I don't feel like LinkedIn's actually going to help me get a job. It's definitely not going to help me get my dream job. Um, it's just a site that I don't quite comprehend what the fun is. But the opposite is true of Facebook or Twitter or Twitch with what I'm doing here. Where on Facebook and Twitter I feel like I've been able to follow the type of person that I really like their content or like they, what they share so therefore I get the type of stuff that's entertaining to me and if I'm following people who are you know up to date on the trends they're not just like single issue people they're just generally funny people or generally entertaining people or they generally have good politics and I get good content out of them so man I'm having a great time on this rant and I really want to start the multi-ball on the left loop having a lot of trouble here. Don't take the quick freeze. You don't need it. Hardest shot in this game. Whew. All right, that was fun. I think LinkedIn's usefulness kind of depends on your job area. Yeah, that's true. I'm an engineer. I got way more viewers from that rant. Maybe because TBA is auto-hosting me. The anchor secret is nature of Facebook makes it better for certain forms of communication and worse for others. Yeah, I agree with that, Centron. That's definitely true. Actually, that's why I really don't want Facebook, or I, sorry, I don't want Twitter to switch to any algorithm-driven content because I feel like that's one of the best things about Twitter is that, like, I'm always seeing everything in order. I'm always seeing nothing's hidden from me, which Facebook, I know it's hidden from me, but I, they did that out of necessity because of how radically they redesigned their website. Sorry, does that count double? Yeah, the super slit, and I drain trying to get the uh, secret jackpot off in time. Anyhow, claws now ready, but quick freeze is also ready. So we're gonna try to um, start this multi ball the proper way and keep saving my claw. See, when I brick enough, I get the uh, shots I need too. What I used to play. Computer's lit. I actually don't want quick freeze here because I only need one freeze left. I only need one post left to get it. I'll try to backhand this post here. Well, that sent the ball really out of control. But quick freeze is enabled. The light quick freeze is ready. Whatever you want to call that shot. And you go up the center. Let's go center again. And we went the wrong way. Wow, that was a crazy dig that I did not expect to get back. I don't care about the explode hurry up at all. I care about getting the center freaking shot. Anyhow, long story short, people are not dumb. People act rationally.
people are just subjected to bias. And they may not have all the information. But it is Facebook's job to make a good site. And journalists have to adapt to this day and age what they're going to do if they want to stay in business. That's the reality of journalism right now. There's no cure-all solution right now if you're looking for market solutions. Uh, if you, some people say it's good, some people say it's bad. It is what it is. Like, I quit wishing people happy birthday on Facebook years ago. I actually ruined my birthday on Facebook. He's a pinball engineer. I don't know what you're responding to there. All right, quick freeze is lit. Don't give me maximized freezes. Thank you. Next door and maximize freezes, maybe. Yes. Wow, I could possibly get through all multi balls with good play. Because now I have two options. Claw will give me maximized freezes, and the next computer will give me maximized freezes. But now execution here is going to be critical. I don't think I can pass nicely. Try that shot. That's over. There we go. Oh no, it lipped out of the hole. Ow, I hurt my hand. Hurt my thumb by banging the trigger. So you were an engineer. I asked what type of engineer are you? Oh, I'm a uh, firm, firmware engineer is my real title, but I'm writing C++ and Java code. So essentially the same sort of job as what a software engineer would have. It's just I work with um, mainframes and we're writing the code the like front level firmware client facing firmware code it's not what I wanted I wanted to get the ball into the left loop oh no Tim I swear to goodness learn how to play pinball go in that hole Oh, frustrating, frustrating game. I can't believe I hit that left shot too and it just totally freaked out of that hole. Now what? We're on ball three. What was your secret for winning Outer Banks? You face some serious competition. I'll tell you my secret. Um, total dedication and obsession with the idea of getting better at playing pinball to the point where you make it the main goal of your whole life. Uh... There's no one thing, it's just been uh, an, an addiction, I guess, of sorts, to getting good at this game. I find it's very fun, and it's even fun, more fun the better you are at it, but it's fun even if you're not that great. You can always set these like micro goals, things you want to do to improve, and you can keep going. But then, I don't know, you, I get, you get the experience, right? Like, I've gotten my ass kicked by Steve Bowden in plenty of tournaments, and I've had opportunities to knock him out. I've just learned over time, it's like, if you have an opportunity to take Steve Bowden out, you take it. And that opportunity is not going to look like an opportunity to a novice player. It's probably not going to look to a novice player like Steve Bowden with 46 million on Tron is an opportunity to beat him, but in fact is because he's a player that can get 100 million, which is an almost impossible score to beat. So just never like getting yourself down in that situation, believing in your ability. Also just getting the muscle memory, getting the skills. Keep looking for ways to improve your game. Right now, the best way would be to shoot the left ramp and shoot the right ramp to get those freezes maximized. And then shoot the left loop again and not miss. <laughs> Something like, in this game, you can see I've given up on the post pass. I've used the ramps to transfer, but sometimes I can't, because I don't want to shoot the right ramp. I don't know. Yeah, just a lot of work. I will say, <laughs> this community is awesome. Like, pinball is awesome, right? There's a lot of great people who play it. Um, everyone, when you come to League, all the people you get to see regularly really make it a fun time. 